Chavo. This is Gosh, minus one. Everyone else goes to the bathroom. I guess I'll take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> that day you escape class and tend to spend the term in the bathrooms, but you encounter three wild hyenas on their way there. What? Who the fuck runs security here? <laughs> Anyways, you start to do them with the help of a hair comb. God bless monster scouts and the idiotic scenarios they prepare you for. By the time you get to the bathroom, you totally gain two boldness. Wow. Well, at least I got something going for me. Because <laughs> I'm dumb as a rock. Forget about that girl. Holly's here, and she looks ready to party. So basically, it's just normal. Oh, there you are, my favorite party favor besides Ecstasy. You ready to get crazy? You indicate, though, through a heart shaped glow stick maneuver, that you are indeed ready to hit the clubs. The clubs? Not tonight, Mo. Tonight, we're gonna engage in my favorite pastime. Party crasher! <laughs> I just love crashing parties and making them go wilder and crazier, you know? Right. Tonight, we're gonna crash a totally sweet baby shower I just heard about. <laughs> <laughs> and knowing you, I bet you're gonna have some killer ideas for how we should crash up. Uh, nothing ends up a baby shower like extra babies. <laughs> literally, literally crash into the party. <laughs> <laughs> with your last uh, steam name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, using your advanced nautical knowledge and your <laughs> proficiency... <laughs> I just remember my last name. <laughs> I was Captain Stabbing's boat rides. Oh my god. <laughs> Easy hot water a boat and crash it into the party. Oh my lord! Where's the ground? Who's It turns out the party was a nautical theme, so the guests are immediately start applying and they think that it is a planned interruption. The host is forced to play along <laughs> or look like an idiot who's just <laughs> 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 party. You have a great time sharing rum, singing sea shanties, and giving the baby a stick, stick anchor tattoo on her little unborn bicep. He can too fun in one charm. <laughs> Get it! Uh, I'm gonna go to the uh, older Ritorio. Jim, go to the gym. No, oh. you go to the that gym. day while rehearsing for the class play, nerd, you totally forget your lines. It's terrible. Oh. But you don't let that get you down, you start improvising your lines. And it's all marvelous. Somehow it enhances the path of play in an unexpected way. And that's saying something, since half of your improvisation is a rap battle against your inner fears. <laughs> you gain two creativity. Nailed it, guys. Nailed it. Hey, Janet. Remember that one time at that one party where you explained to me in great detail your brilliant secrets of the business world? Nope. Holy shit, you do not. <laughs> that doesn't sound like your area of expertise at all. You must have been pretty drunk. Right. But it's Vera, so you smile and nod. Hmm. Well, I will be attending a very fancy and important business dinner event tonight full of powerful people by exclusive invitation. Hmm. And by exclusive invitation, I mean I'm going to use my Gorgon powers to turn the concierge into stone and then sneak in. Clever. I love to see you put other people's money where your mouth is. If you're not doing anything tonight. Well, I think she wants to date. You are planning to reorganize your collection of very rare mint condition Pokemon cards containing Doug Trio. No, no, Pokemon <laughs> cards. Oh, Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Pokemon. Gotta catch you in a mile. They're prisoners. Got to, got to collect some of them. That's the, that's the Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> the popular trading card game based on the ever more popular video game, Pocket Humans. Each card depicts a human being with a specific job in bio. I got the accountant. <laughs> well, that can't wait as the time rolls around for a fancy business dinner. You shove it into your pocket and roll out. Mine's yeah. overweight lifeguard! Yeah, over here. <laughs> Glad you can make it. I've been raking in business cards hand over claw so far. Alright. I met Gertrude Gorgonzola, the Diamond Tampon Tycoon, and Ray K. Bebop, the social media influencer slash rapper slash robot, and they're both very excited to do business with me. Hmm. Plus, half the people in this room now follow me on Instagram because I had some zombie tech mogul, Steven Jabberwocky, hack into the accounts for me. Ooh. How have you done so far? You turn to your pockets and show very the evidence of your endeavors. Well, if you consist of a lobby car in the hotel the convention is in, and the only thing 
handed to you by a real businessman. A sticky note with the word no written in red sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have invited someone else. Literally anyone else. <laughs> no, but it's okay. You can still have an hour left to bit. It's time to pull out all the stops and choose an amazing tactic to get as many business cards as you can to prove error what a valuable business asset and or prom date you are. You may have no business cards and therefore no business cards to exchange, but you surely as hell have Pokemon cards trade build. <laughs> Convince the business people you have a rare disease that can only be cured if you are given 100 business cards. Uh, both of them make you sound pretty stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah, neither of these seem like good options. Yeah, we have no charm. But um, you are creative. Uh, You're also not fun to be around. Okay, so that's probably the charm. <laughs> You're kind of smart, right? though. You might be able to convince them. Uh, yeah, yeah, isn't I'd that charm? Isn't that more than charm? charm? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think know, I got a top is great. <laughs> Quick as a flash, so you pull out your dope collection of Pokemon cards until you find the perfect human for the event. Overweight lifeguard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Regina oh. Smith, the queen of networking. She's the owner of a plethora of businesses, as well as one of the seven guardians of the stock market. <laughs> it is incredibly rare and gives whoever possesses it plus seven in networking. Ooh. Which Damn. makes it super value. Suddenly, you're being surrounded by businessmen, each thrusting his card at you in a venerable orgy of potential business collaborators. No, Within minutes, you have so many business cards that it will be me. Come to me. a tentacle monster in order to hold all of them. Ooh. Oh, I like where this is going. Damn, Janet, you really want <laughs> to clean up, don't you? Because okay. you have a business card from just about everyone here. Yeah. Kind of anime do you watch there, Tom? Larry Von Hootenberg? I am sure you have no idea what you're talking about. Is it this I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Just then, two businessmen <laughs> rushed towards you so fast, cars extended, that they smashed into each other and both knocked out. Got him! <laughs> I stand corrected! Vera Soup sounds collect the business cards from the unconscious men. You hand over the stack of cards you procured, and the two of you link arms and walk away. Oh, yeah, linking, linking arms. Y yeah, y you get it? That's, right? what, that's what couples yeah. do. That's how you toss the Regina spit card over your shoulder without even looking to see how who may catch it. You no longer care about its fate. Yeah, take Aww, that, Regina good, Smith. Yeah. Plus seven in networking. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to do you get think, Do you think it's still? Bit. Do you think it's still too late to go back? You have everything you ever needed: a bunch of business cards, two boldest one smart, and the affection, or at least the very at least the toleration of a good woman. Huh. Hmm. Do you think she can blow you with a snake? The monster prom draws Maybe. near. Larry von Hootenberg, who will you pick for your prom date? Oh my god. Guys, 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 guys. This is clearly like finale, right? Like we're not we're not doing this this episode. Well, we could end it, but the game ends here. Well well then what happens? They just say yes or no. Uh no no no, you go to the prom. You go to the prom. Yeah, give like a little speech about what happens, then it tells you like a little bit afterwards. Alright, well I don't know. Should we do that as the last episode? Because it's been going for ages. We'll find out if Larry Von Hootenberg goes with his dream girl, the twerking, drug-doing party-goer Polly. Next time on Jag. Welcome back to Jag! Larry Von Hootenberg is <laughs> just asking out a sexy John ghost. Just be quiet, John Tone. No one, no one asked you. Uh, mute him. <laughs> <laughs> We're here with, with Larry Von Hootenberg, the Gobbo King, and I, Janet, and nobody else. And uh, we're gonna find out who's who's gonna get what prom date. So can someone oh, click I sure hope she says yes. <laughs> let's find out. Okay, Doug Trio's going after party slot. Let's see how he does. Uh, I don't know. Juan. Oh, I'm gonna ask. Uh, who? Man, you know, I did I did pretty good with the red guy over there. And I think you should ask red guy. Girl. Please ask red guy. Hmm, red guy Ooh. does have abs. Right. But pink girl does Wait, have you a little ask on yourself. I'm gonna ask red out, girl, uh, girl. pink, pink girl. Pink you should, girl? You should ask out yep. red guy. Your yes. final chance. You're a fool. You're a fool. You are a fool. <laughs> you just you go with what? none of them. I'm better than all of you. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm going with Sal now. I'm going uh, with Sal now. Alright, do I want to go out with myself or the one that I've been wooing? How about the one you've been wooing? Oh, but she's such a bitch. Wait, wait. If, who if you John go, if you ask out the girl Jonathan, does that that would be much funnier because yeah, she's got to make get a decision. Yeah, get the one that Jonathan went after. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Juan Juan. You finally plucked your courage and asked your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Please go. Hey, ah, that's <laughs> disgusting. That's right, fucking real life. <laughs> Why Every don't you? I'm Jumped on, and fish girls don't want to date me. Nothing I changes. I just want to get in that nice fish, you know? I'm What's John Todd, and fish girls don't date me. Anyway, you should have so, went and saw uh, that movie where the lady bangs the fish guy. I think of you as a oh. brother. <laughs> hey, Prince. Hmm. Actually, we at royalty are very into incest, so let me correct that. <laughs> I think of you as highly unattractive. God damn it, that's what I said too. I must decline. <laughs> What a loser! After that, you were forced to abandon your home and join the underground society. <laughs> loser, people. you couldn't get a date from Monster Prom, which is just a fancy way of saying you had to live the rest of your life in the fucking sewers. Dude, this game is eerily Gross. similar to my real life. Gabo, <laughs> yes, no, the problem. You told yourself it didn't need you anymore, and you know, on a theoretical level, theoretical level, that's completely true. But it just seems like a way of avoiding potential rejection. <laughs> We all fear the rejections we are, but it's part of life. Victory is for those who try. And you have it. Damn! Prom night is here, so you can't help but wonder if you had a chance to do it. I got an achievement. For those who failed, at least try. And you, tonight, have failed in your own way without even trying, which is some kind of twisted merit in its own right. Down it will haunt you to the day you die. Prom was once in a lifetime opportunity, and now it's gone. Oh no, wait, this is just a video game. You can try to play again. <laughs> Lucky bad. <laughs> Janet. Janet, how's this gonna go? <gasps> you finally plucked your courage and asked your beloved to the monster prom. Oh, oh yeah, I have to press buttons now. God damn, yeah, I'm so do. excited. Eck! My <laughs> sister told me that I'd get diseases if I dated commoners. <laughs> Stuff like crabs or poverty. I must decline. Damn, you were bad at <laughs> interacting with people. Really am. <laughs> to repent for your sins and make it the bad choice, you were forced to walk around the school in the nude, accompanied by a nun, <laughs> shame over and over. Shame! <laughs> shame! Time. Shame! Classic. I love Game of Thrones. <laughs> Ray von Hutenberg, you finally plugged up your courage and asked your beloved to go to Monster Prom with you? <laughs> yes! Oh, the epic bullshit. Look at pretty wild personal. Only one thing, if are you, I get some good life on Charles. Just that kind That of. is a hell of a Tom Knight was life. nice and a bit bland for the likes of you. <laughs> you decided to spice it up by summoning some interdimensional nightmare creatures because interdimensional nightmare creatures don't know how to raid the night away. I like that the little guy has a little top hat. <laughs> He's actually the real one. <laughs> That's actually lit. He's Wait, actually lit. It is not true. Look, there's another one down at the bottom. <laughs> He's got a little bow tie. Oh dear God! Sword. What what is that one? What the hell? <laughs> you and Polly held hands on admiring the interdimensional nightmare creatures. Rick Habit. What a night! Oh. Damn it! Only oh, <laughs> God, the best to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> Miranda's quote: "Death to all air people." Death to all air people. I guess that means I win. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah. You got laid. You definitely won. Well, I, I do owe it to my uh, my boy John, huh? Yeah. Uh, dude, I'm right there for you. you have to oh, well, he doesn't back, but that's okay, I'm a bro. <laughs> oh, you just hit enter and it goes through. Well, do you want it, do you want it, do uh, with that, it? I've been holding my pee, so I will sign out. What? Well, you know, well Janet, you, you'll time. probably have to. You can read it, though. Oh, I guess I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm You're the, the Gabo King, and those three <laughs> weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After Monster Prom, we kept on living our lives. I'm from Florida. Failing in love, <laughs> battling for friendship, and learning who we are and who we could be. Like me, the Gobbo King. And you know what? As it always does, life happened and it was wonderful. During those three weeks in Florida, Monster Prom seemed bigger than life. And then it was gone. Just like that. Like my time in the Marines. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were lots of battles left in War Called Youth. Shut up, Jonton. I'm the Gobbo King. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Gobble, 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 King. Why don't you just shut the hell up and show me some of your dank bills? Um, uh, shush. Only thing you get for. Shush, we're admiring I mean, the photos. It... Guys, look at the credits. Look at them go. I mean, the, cr the credits do like sum up a little bit about what happened. It kind of does. You, if you read them. I figured that you were actually going to read them. <laughs> I did read them. Yeah. Did, didn't your, did yours mention anything about the, the small topia? No. Oh. Oh, maybe. I guess ours all say different stuff. 
Yeah. Well, I like, gave a summary of what happened with Smoktopia and uh, the dating show. <laughs> really? I yeah. didn't get to see anything because Gabo left already. Yeah, I think That's so. classic Gabo. Yeah, yeah, I think he's broke everything. Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for joining us on Jag. I mean, I mean Gabo's we'll probably unlock already, some stuff too. But, you know, that's cool. But anyway, guys, thanks for joining us. And uh, everybody, thanks for watching. This has been, uh, what, what the hell is this called again? Monster Prom. Monster Prom. This has been Monster, Monster Prom, Prom, and you can find it on Steam and stuff. So, uh, yeah, come back for more Jags. Bye. Spoiler, no nudity. <laughs>